No change for both sides in this, the second one-day international. And sent in to bat, the Australians were in trouble early. That's beautifully played and even better caught. With Usman Khawaja out to a gem from Kieran Powell, Aaron Finch fell soon after. Got that in the middle. It's found the middle of the hands too. As the West Indies were putting on a clinic in the field. Phil Hughes and Michael Clark put on 31 for the third wicket before Hughes was followed into the pavilion by his captain as the Aussies stumbled to 4 for 56. And it wasn't long after that Matthew Wade was out caught to another sensational catch, this time by Darren Sammy. How has he hung on to that? But in real trouble at 6 for 98, George Bailey gave the tourists something to chase. He would bring up his century in stunning fashion. Yeah, that could be 100. It will be for George Bailey. For smashing 25 off the final over. We're just going. Over cover. Oh, George Bailey. As his 125 saw the Australians finish their 50 overs at 7 for 266. In reply, it was a bad start for the tourists with danger man Chris Gale out plumb for four. Mitchell Starr claimed Ramnaresh Sarwan and then his third wicket as the Aussie Quick had the West Indies in real trouble at 3 for 33. And another one. Another one for Mitchell Starr. Dwayne Bravo though and Kyron Powell looked to salvage some pride for the tourists. And they did it in blistering fashion with some big hitting from Bravo. Down the ground and into the crowd. It's actually over the concourse seating. A 126-run partnership suddenly gave the tourists' innings life as Powell smashed 17 off the 27th over. Four boundaries smashed over his head. Glenn Maxwell, though, made the breakthrough with Bravo out for 45. Huge edge, Maxwell. Before Stark had Powell out for an innings high 83. Full. Now, has that hit the pad first? It is in line, it is hitting, it is a successful challenge. Stark would finish with five wickets for the match before Sunil Narin emphatically gave his side one final chance. He smacked Maxwell for not one, not two, not three, but four consecutive sixes late. He goes again. This could be out. No! But it was in vain as the West Indies fell 54 runs short. The Aussies now lead the series 2-0.